Welcome to section 3, where we're going to look at the tools underscore.js provides to help when working with JavaScript objects. In this video, we're going to see how iteration works just as well with objects as it does with arrays. We're going to use that to simplify our existing code a little, and we'll add a summary feature to the International Space Station flyover tool we've been building. Our ISS flyover app is now showing flyover times grouped by day and sorted by the amount of cloud. It will be useful to see a summary of the weather conditions over the next few days, so we can easily tell how many flyovers have clear sky. But first we're going to slightly simplify the existing code. A useful thing about underscores each function is that it works with objects just as well as arrays. Let me show you an example here in the JavaScript console. First I'm going to define a test function we'll use for demonstration purposes. Now let's see what happens when I use this test function with underscores each function and an array. You can see that the second argument to the function is the array index of each value. Now let's try calling each function passing in an object instead of an array. We're using the same test function as before. Just like with the array version, the function is called once for each value in the object. The function we gave still receives two parameters. The first is the value as before, and the second is now the key in the object, instead of an index as it was for the array. OK, so let's go back to the code now. See here how we use the keys function to get all the keys from the flyovers group object, then pass them to the each method. And down here we use the day key to get the value from the flyovers group object. We can simplify this by just passing the flyovers group objects directly to each. The arguments to our each function are now the flyovers for the day, and the day itself. So of course we now don't need this line anymore. Let's just clean up these lines as well. So let's go back and check it in the browser. And it looks like it's still working as before, so we have a successful refactor. Lots of underscore functions can use objects as well as arrays in this manner. In fact all the functions in the collections section and the docs do. Now let's add the summary section, but first let's add a point to attach it to the HTML. We'll add a header for the section, and we'll also add a div into which the summary data will be inserted. And now let's switch back to the JavaScript and add the code. We can get counts of flyovers for each weather description using the underscore count by function. This works like the group by function we saw last time, but it gives us counts instead of lists. Let's just clear the summary section of the HTML first, in case anything is there already. And finally, we use each to iterate over the summary object, which maps weather conditions strings to counts, and output a bit of HTML for each pair. This will let us see how common each weather condition is for the flyovers in the next few days. Let's have a look at this latest change now and we can see that we do now have summary information being displayed. In this video we saw how the each function can be used with objects as well as arrays, and we learned that this applies to a bunch of other functions in underscore as well. We also saw the count by function, and added a weather conditions summary box to the top of the ISS flyovers app. In the next video we'll look at the underscore extends function which is used to combine objects, and we'll look at the pluck function which can be used to extract a specific key from each of an array of objects. See you there.